I wish each and everyone here Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I'm at a very important place, as you can see. A very important place. When you are coming in here, it is written at the entrance that we were once like you. And when you are going out, it says you will soon be like us. You will soon be like us. No one prays to be here. It is nobody's wish to ever be here. But the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it says it's appointed unto man to die once. And after that, judgment. And after that, judgment. I'm not here to scare anybody or to cause fear and panic. But I just want you to know that these people you see here, these great ones you see here, they had plans. They had unfinished businesses. And in here are great profile personnel. We have lawyers, we have teachers, we have nurses, we have bankers, we have soldiers, we have policemen, we have cocoa sellers, we have the kayaks. All of them are here. In here you see are the great, the small, the big, and all sort of people. The surprising thing is that if you watch the graves, you will see that all each of them came here with different ages. Some are 10, some are 30, 35, 40, 50. As you can see, when you watch the graves, you see 90, 100, and so on. Each and every blessed Saturday, people are always busy here. Here is always busy. They troop in with the young, the aged, the youth, and all sorts of people. So when you come here on weekends, it's always busy. So my brother and sister, I don't think it's a good idea for you to bring someone here. Don't let, because of you, someone should be brought here. Don't be the cause of someone being here. Because one day, one day, and someday, you will eventually join them. Don't be the cause of someone's death. Don't be the cause why people come here. Most of the people that are here, some came here through accident, car accidents. Some came here through food poisoning. Some came here through suicide. Some people came here through sickness. Others came here because they trusted someone too much that led them here. So in here are people's fathers, someone's mother, someone's cousin, someone's sister, someone's brother, someone's husband, someone's wife. Yes, as you can see, all of them had properties. In here were great people who had properties. They had cars, they had houses, they acquired degrees, but as you can see, you can't see any car parked anywhere. There's no any degree lying on their graves. I can't see any house by them. So, as we enter into the new year, I just want us to meditate that out of your busy schedules, make time, come sit here and then meditate. Think about life and do straight in your life. Put your life on the right track in as much as we struggle to succeed in life we strive to make it in life make sure that you are genuine in your dealings with everything you do because all we fight for all we struggle for at the end of the day it ends here it all ends here it ends here so when you are struggling to succeed, do it in a genuine way. Be fair in your dealings and consider humanity, humility first in all your dealings. So all you fight for, all you are toiling for, make sure that you do it in a genuine way. Because if you gather and it's not of the Lord, it will surely scatter. And you can't reap where you have not sown. So when you are reaping, you make sure you have soon and use your work use your job whatever you do use it to honor god do your job as if you are working for god 
And so if you are a soldier man, you work as if you are working for God. If you are a policeman, you work as if you are working for God. If you are a banker, you work as if you are working for God. If you are a CEO who employs people, you do it as if you are doing it for God. Because at the end of the day, each and every one shall account. We shall give account. And to whom much is given, much is so expected. Much is expected. So my brothers and sisters, why don't we leave that pride, the arrogance, the envious, the jealousy, and then help one another? Do your best and help one another and leave the jealousy because at the end of the day, see them. They are all living under one umbrella. The young, the aged, the small, they are all here. So why the envy? Why the jealousy? Why kill your brother? Why kill your, your sister because of money? They say money moves the world, but acquire the money in a genuine way. And so to bring my message to an end, I want to advise that you live each and every day as if it's the last. Because one day, it will be the last. Because one day, it will be the last. As we enter into the new year, I pray that God prosper you. May God strengthen you. May God bless you with long life. And may God let all your secret prayers and dreams manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Jake, the police preacher.